Hi everybody, this is Laura from The Vintage Key. I have been trying to record this video like three times already and every time I record it, my phone dies. So I finally found my camcorder. So, <laughs> sorry for the shadowing because like the sun is doing its situation right now. But what I want to show you is my tutorial for my um, loaded, my expandable loaded envelope. And some of you have seen my um, Halloween um, loaded envelope. And so it expands right here. So instead of it being flat closed like that, it expands. And it gives more um, more space so you can add more goodies in there if you choose to or, you know, however. Um, but I really like doing it that way. It's nice. I, you know, I just really like it like that. Um, and I know some of you um, on the site asked if I would do a tutorial. So I'm going to show you how to do a tutorial on that. Um, and the other thing as well is I like to do mine with a manila folder. Reason being is because I like it to be really sturdy. And so when you use a manila envelope, it makes it really sturdy. Like, this is sturdy itself, but whenever you add the paper onto it, it just makes it a lot thicker. Um, and it makes it really nice and sturdy because it's going in the mail, so it, you know, it won't tear. So, which makes it really great. You know, the mail throws everything. So what you need is you need one manila envelope. You're going to need some scissors. You will need a pen if you need to do any tick marks. You need a ruler to do some measuring. You need a trimmer. You're going to need a scoreboard, um, scoring tool, and then some adhesive tape or if you want to use a um, ATG gun, you're free to do that. So because I have done the video already several times, I actually already did the cutting and scoring and everything. But let me go ahead and just show you everything that I have done so far. So this is what I've done so far. So you have two parts. You're going to have, um, you're going to have a back part, and you're actually going to have a front part. So I like to start off with the back part because this is what's actually going to be sitting on the bottom. So the back part, and let me just show you here. The back part actually is done where the paper is cut eight inches across, and then. So it's cut at 8 inches and it's cut at 10 inches. So you're going to take your manila envelopes and you're going to cut one at 8 inches across and 10 inches down. Okay, so that's your cutting. And then once you're done with that, you're going to actually score it. And my light in here is horrible. You're going to score it at half an inch on one side and an inch on the other side. Then you're going to come over and you're going to score it at 7 inches on one side and 7 and a half inches on the other side. Once that is done, then you're going to go ahead and you're going to take your paper and you're going to flip it over to the side and then you're going to score it at one inch across the bottom. Okay, so that is your back part. And then the next one you're going to do is your front part. So for this piece of the manila envelope, you're going to need to cut it at seven inches across and you're going to cut it at nine inches down. Okay, so again, seven inches across, nine inches down. And then on this one, you're going to score a half an inch on one side and you're going to score a half an inch on the other side. Okay? So that's what that looks like there. So that's your front, 7 by 9, scored a half an inch on each side. And this is the actual manila envelope piece. That's what it looks like. Okay? And then this is your back part. Remember, your back part is cut 8 inches across, 10 inches down. You're going to score a half an inch, 1 inch, 7 inches, and seven and a half inches. You're going to flip it to the side and then you're going to score one inch on the bottom. So this is what that looks like. So this is the back part. So then all I did was I just took it and I just cut the corners. I turned the corners, I cut them down. Cut there, cut there. So and then when you fold it, because you've already scored these, remember because we scored a half an inch and a half an inch, so that's what it looks like there and this what looks like here. So when my video stopped, we were actually getting to the um, adhering part. So this is our back part and this is our front part. And the reason, the way we can tell these apart is your front part only has one flap here on each side and your back part has, it has, well it has one but it has the two score marks. So that's what makes this little expandable part, see as you can see here. Okay. So the, so the back has the expandable and the front only has the one. Okay, So what we're going to do is we're actually going to be working on the back part right here. Okay, And so what I started to do on the back part here, I'll just move this over, I just started putting 
um, tape. And like I said, I'm just using this tape. You can use your ATG gun if you want to. I like to use this tape personally um, just because I want it to adhere really well. I kind of feel that if you use um, the score tape, I feel like it's not really going to adhere all that well. But that is my point of view. Everybody has their own point of view. Okay. So I'm just putting some tape here. And I just want to make sure that this holds down really well. So, I mean, it's not nothing perfect. So we're putting just some pieces of tape here. And then um, the way this goes here, so we've got this glued. So when you come out and you look at this, you're going to be like, okay, I've got that glued here. Where do we put the glue here? So the way this is going to go, this is the um, front part. This is actually going to attach. It's going to hinge itself here. Do you see that? Those two pieces are just going to hinge. So I could put tape on here if I wanted to, but I'm just going to keep all the tape on this one. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see here, you've got this folded edge here. I'm just going to unfold it flat, and the tape is just going to go on this side here. Not the bottom part, just this top part right here. So when you fold it, there's not going to be no tape on this side, but there's going to be tape on the underside of it. Okay? So I'm just going to turn this around and just go ahead and put tape on there. And I hope this is like really making sense to you guys. If not, I do apologize. So whenever I'm putting my tape on here, or score tape, whatever you want to call this tape, um, just put it on here pretty close to the actual little fold line that's there. To this fold line here, the score. So as you can see, I put the tape here. And then I'm just going to put another piece right up here. Basically, because we just want this to hold really, really well. You know, because we're putting all those goodies inside, and then we're going to ship them off in the mail. And, you know, mailman, you know, over there at the post office, they just kind of throw things here and there. Not to say they don't do a great job, because they deliver all our wonderful packages, but, you know, they could be more careful. So, as you can see here, no tape here, but when you turn it around, you've got all your tape right there. See? So now I'm just going to turn it around to the other side and do the same thing. Just go ahead and put tape on here. And now if you guys have any questions when you see this video, just like leave me your questions in the comments and I'll reply back to them as soon as I can. I tried to make this video a little bit sooner, but um, it's almost Halloween. And here in Florida, well where I live at anyway, um, they have a bunch of events for kids and stuff. So I've been kind of busy taking my kids to all these little Halloween events that they're having for the children. Like trunk or treats and all that good stuff. And then, you know, on Monday, tomorrow, when it's actually Halloween, we'll take them to the Glacier Museum for Halloween time. All right, so we have that already. So pull this out so you can see. Hopefully it's not so shadowy in here. Ugh. So as you can see, this is the envelope. This is the back part. I've got adhesive tape here. And then when you open these up, I've got heat of tape on this flap and on this flap. So it's going to look like that. Now, pretty much cutting it and scoring it is like the easiest thing in the world. What makes it worse is when you're actually putting it together. That is like the pain in the butt part. So promise you. So, now that we've got that, this is the front. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to have to remove adhesive off of one side here and then remove this adhesive off here. Now this is the really, really tricky part. This part kind of drives me a little bit insane to be honest with you. But it's what makes this envelope actually really sturdy because what happens is that you're going to actually take this and you're going to hinge it on this side and it's going to adhere. I know it's like really hard to see this, but so what you're going to do is you're just going to fix this and put it right down in here and pretty much just take it all the way down to the bottom. So I like to go ahead and just open this flap up. Just kind of moving this hopefully so you can see that. So what I'm doing is I'm putting this flap down and I'm taking this. I haven't removed the tape off of here yet because right now I just want to see how it's going to look. So I'm just going to hook this in place 
And then I'm going to hold this up because this is going to be like my stopper for this to go through. So at least I know that whenever it comes, it's going to stop right there. And this is going to get glued all right up in here. So you're just going to push that all the way in so that it butts all the way in. So that it will be glued. So okay, let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to remove the tape off of here. Sounds crazy, this tutorial, I know. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit. So I've got my adhesive tape, so now I'm going to go ahead and just do this together here. And some of this tape actually came out on the edge, so I just kind of want to push that back down. So I'm going to take this, open this out here, and then pretty much just kind of want to push this all the way in until it hits the other end. And it's confusing. I just want to make sure that I get it all the way in here to the bottom if I can. And now I have it adhered. So you can kind of see what happened is a little piece came up on the top, but that's okay because whenever we put this in, See how it's like does a little over? We can just trim that little piece off, so I'm really don't worry about it. But now this is all one piece because we've already adhered it here. Probably would have made sense if I would have turned it around the other way, but you know, we'll learn as we go. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to take the adhesive off here and I'm going to close it, and we're just going to push this down and adhere this down here. So that's going to show a little bit. Really didn't want that to show. I wonder if I can remove this. I think I can. I'm making a mess, I know. So let me try that again. This is a problem when you get these things and you want it perfect. So let me just try to hear it from the top here. There we go. That, I guess, would probably be a better bet to do. Measure it from the top. So then now you're all the way to the bottom, and then your top part is actually even. So, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take this tape off, and it's going to adhere here, and then you're going to push it down, and all of this part is going to adhere right here. Like I said, guys, I haven't made tutorials in a while, so... <laughs> Excuse my crazy tutorial. I really do hope you guys get it and you make that expandable one because it's like, it's so nice when you have the expandable one. It really truly is. So I'm just going to try to match these bottoms up right here. Okay. okay. So I've got this matched up already here. You can see how it just kind of closes here. And you already have your expendable part on this side. Now we got to do this side. So, magical one, magical one. And see, uh, we're going to do just push this in. Maybe I should cut this off one or piece off like that. Might work since it's got to go in there. I think I'm going to just trim this corner piece off right here. Like I said, you learn as you go along and you know, when you're here doing stuff at home, you're like, okay, I'm going to trim here, let me trim there, and trim, 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 and then boom, you've got it, and then you're like, where all did I trim at? i got to make this tutorial, and you know. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and start removing the adhesive here. So this is your flap here, okay, and the inside is what's going to get glued down to this right here. Remove this adhesive. Okay. So now we're just going to take this and I'm just going to match this with this and just glue it down. You just kind of stick your hand inside and then you want to just like fold that in and just push it down. 
and just take it. I don't have my circle. Then you're just pushing it down all the way, making sure everything's adhered. And pretty much you have your envelope already. That's it. Bottom's all done and adhered pretty good. Got your expandable sides. And pretty much here's your pocket. Hello. See that? And now you have your expandable envelope, and now you have nothing to trim at the top because it's pretty much even. It's pretty cool. I really liked it. I had a lot of fun making it. Now, what I did, um, so this is it. This is basically, this is the whole actual basic body. Once you get to here, you can modify and do whatever else you want to with it. But um, what I did on mine, and let me bring that back up here, is, see mine? Here's mine. Let me take some of this stuff out here so we can see here. So here's mine. So this is the front of mine here. And this is, so this is the back here. And you see how you can see a piece? So all I did is I cut, maybe what is that, like, I don't know, an inch, two inches. That's like maybe an inch and a half or something like that. I cut it down right there. It's about an inch, an inch and three quarters. So I cut about an inch and three quarters off of the front. And by that you would do, you would just take this and measure an inch and three quarters or however much you would like to cut off. I usually like to do an inch and three quarters so it gives me a good, so I make my tick mark there. An inch and three quarters here and I make my tick mark here, three quarters. And like I said, I don't mind writing on here because paper is literally going to be covering this. So an inch and three quarters, an inch and three quarters. Okay. So then all you're going to do is you're just going to cut this up. Either. And then you're just going to trim this across the top. No fancy tools here, guys. Just your scissors. Now you have your opening. I know you're kind of like, ugh, that's it. But once you cover it up with paper, and if you want to, you can add a border like I did. My spider border right here. It looks pretty darn cool. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope it made sense. So, like I said, ask me any questions if you need to. Okay guys? Alright, thank you guys. I appreciate it so much. Bye.